DSIP, a peptide that might sound like the name of an underground DJ who only plays at 3 a.m. warehouse raves, no. but it's not. It's a neuropeptide that's been whispered about in sleep science circles for decades. Delta sleep-inducing peptide, or just DSIP for short, was first discovered in the 70s by Schonenberger Monnier Group in Basel, Switzerland, when researchers were poking around rabbit brains, looking for what makes us snooze. They found this tiny chain of amino acids and thought, well, this has to be nature's own sleeping pill, right? Like the built-in bedtime signal we've been searching for, the biochemical equivalent of a warm blanket and a lullaby rolled into one. DSIP seems to interact with your GABAergic and NMDA systems. They're the parts of your brain that handle both relaxation and stimulation. In animals, DSIP seem to trigger deep, restorative delta wave sleep. That kind of sleep where your brain does the housekeeping, tossing out useless memories and scrubbing your neurons squeaky clean. Sounds like biohacker gold, right? Well, it's not that simple. Human data is a mess. Some studies showed mild improvements in sleep quality or stress reduction. Others found no difference. And because DSIP breaks down fast in the bloodstream, using it outside a lab is tricky. It's not FDA approved for insomnia, so don't expect to find DSIP next to the melatonin gummies at Walmart. Where do you get it, Walmart? At the end of the day, we know that researchers are still curious. DSIP might play a role in pain modulation, stress response, even hormone regulation. But it could be an equivalent of buying a used mattress off Craigslist. It might sound like a good idea until you're wide awake at 3 a.m. questioning your life choices. This has been DSIP in 120 seconds. If you want to see more quick and easy peptide videos, hit that like button, subscribe, and tell me which peptide you want to hear about next.